What's up guys, this year's world championship had a rather boring final. However, there was one series that made up for it and it was Moist vs Furia in the quarterfinals. It was so good that the YouTuber Wayton Pilkin decided to make a masterpiece of a video about it and yesterday in my live stream I was watching it and the man himself decided to join in. So here's my live reaction to the video and of course all the credit goes to him. The link for his video is gonna be in the description just like my stream link where this video is from. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh my god, I remember that. Why is this? Why is the picture so HD? Like everything is so HD and then this thing up top here is so scuffed. Like this is this is added in afterwards, right? <laughs> it's been 973 days since the last in-person world championship. And since then, it's been extremely hard to live up to that moment. Having no land True. or international competition for so long made it near impossible for storylines to develop. In fact, it took nearly three years before we saw another moment of that same caliber at a world championship. And when it did happen, Fury are moist. <laughs> I've never seen that video. This is a story of Fury Holy. Fury at Esports came into the World Championship as the highest seed from South America, which sounds really good, but unfortunately doesn't mean much historically. Before this season, the SAM region as a whole had a record of 1-8 on LAN. Not exactly the best track record. When an NA or EU team was put up against a South American team, it was usually just something to scoff at. At least until the 2022 Winter Major. I mean, to be fair, the best team moved to NA uh, in complexity, so I <laughs> gotta take that into account, right? Let's continue. This event was the first true sign of Furia's potential. A top six finish from a South American team shattered everyone's predictions. They came up out of nowhere, taking down powerhouse teams like NME and Endpoint. Furia instantly became a team to watch out for after just one event, even for top teams like Team Queso, which they had the unfortunate occasion of- you know what made Furia so nuts at the Fall Major was that they already had this tactic down of one guy goes up and the other follows through and the first guy who went up with the ball just fakes it. Vayton has a video on that as well. It's pretty correct. Only Queso and I think V1 were able to do it at that time consistently. So they were pretty good. What? You saved it? Holy. This, this right here. This is what I meant. That was close. What's up, Flossy? Looking good. Guys, there's some sort of filter over that, right? It looks oh, so crisp baby. and I don't know why. Yo, wait. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, bro. Currently watching your video. Uh, I was just curious how you make it look so crisp. Oh my. That was close. And all that, guys, all that is only the build up for the series we're going to see at Worlds. Wow. 
put on a show here to get some crazy goals and a little misdirection. Keep him prodding anywhere that defense to see if he can find a way through. It's Joy. Oh, dude, Jojo is so good. Like, what is that? That is so disgusting. How do you defend that? I think I saw a news video of yours before. That's awesome to hear, dude. Uh, I've been on a grind recently. Would go on to lose control of game seven and be eliminated from the major. That is three for Queso. Devastation the other way. Their performance was unbelievable at the time. The only question left on people's minds at this point was, was it a fluke? Well, at the nah. next major, three months later, Furia answered that question with, no. No, it wasn't. Furia, South America's hope. They did it last time Winter Major. They broke through that top eight. Finally, they made Bro, top six. I put them at like top three or four in my power rankings and I got shit on by everyone. Everyone was like, dude, Furia, nah, nah, nah. Uh, it was horrible. But they, uh, they've been that good. Furia defense, but here's the problem. You give a lot back oh, the other way. Man, you get At the 2022 Spring Major, Furia truly solidified themselves as not only a top team, but a fan favorite. Yan had one of the most impressive individual performances ever seen in the RLCS, scoring highlight after highlight. A team from what we used to call a minor region was changing the Unreal. reputation of not only themselves, but their region as a whole. They were unfortunately knocked down to lowers early on by none other than Carmine Corp, who they would end up meeting again later in the bracket in the top six. This was one of the most exciting series of the tournament. Oh yeah, I remember that. Huge, not only of course for KC, but Furia, the damage they can do, it is on another level, truly. This was when K-Cop all of a sudden became legit with Noli. I had this shot in my video today. I remember recording this. The fake wave dash. This is usually the point in the series where it's considered all but over. Reverse sweeps just don't happen in these scenarios. A game away from elimination, backs completely against the wall, there's just no hope left to hold on to. For some reason though, these factors don't apply to Furia. And the entire crowd of RLCS was just about to realize that. You want me to put this into context? We have never seen I thought it was over as well, to be honest. On social media, in uh, this line in person, uh, Jan sneaks one in here for one nil. That's something we have to to work with. The team plays him. There we go, three and three guys. That's it confirmed. It's been still for a while. Furia have brought it back to game seven, and they've done it with a celebratory goal as well. Copa Monterina! <laughs> Oh, I know what's coming. Have thrown down the gauntlet. They have won the hearts of London fans, and they open the scoring again. Furia in this position have been unstoppable. When they get that first goal, they do not let it get away from them. Is Nolly is going to have to back down at least for now? Cards lost the ball up to Kayo. The fake. Totally intended. Look great, they're hanging on to this two goal lead. Given nothing but oh, nice suddenly. Oh, oh. Garmin guard find an opening. Tachi back oh, into the, the midfield. Wall. Nolly can't quite take the first time shot. They're taking their time. They want the perfect play. Oh, no. oh, oh. The nerfs, bro. Instead, he set up his teammate. They got him. What a beauty. The the reaction by the owner of Keiko was just the best. In front of like 45,000, I think it was. And he completely lost it. It was so awesome. And by the way, the first goal in that last game where Astral own goal, there was always the reason why I thought Astral was a little bit washed, but he upped this game in spring even more. And uh, now he's back. Odd feeling to already outperform your expectations, but at the same time, be this close to making oh, history. Oh, baby, Furia let's now go. Had two moments chip to chip, thank you for the follow, bro. Two majors in a row, two devastating game seven losses. It's hard to watch from the losing perspective, but there was still work to be done. Coming up was the biggest Rocket League event of the year.
This brings us nearly to the present day, the RLCS World Championship. Furia had just one month to grind and change the reputation of coming up short of making history. Eyes were already on them as they went into their first match, and what better test to start with than the very team that took them down just one month prior. Would Furia let this opponent scare them? Absolutely not. This, in fact, is where the redemption begins. In the chat there, folks. Redemption knock. Over to the stage, we got a banger of a match coming down the pipeline. In the... I, I, thought, I thought they had a chance. I thought they had a chance. It wasn't an open net. I thought uh, they were going to score. With Jamako goaded Casa. <laughs> you are so good at words. Right now, watch it. That's going to be a good pass. Oh, Manoli attacking. He got the shot. He, he's getting touched. He's connecting with each other. Both defenses, they want to challenge. Shot in front. Goal! Oh, what a bang at all. <laughs> Furia began the tournament by dominating a series they couldn't close out before. One of those two stories was now complete. Immediately after, they would unfortunately be knocked down to lowers, but they'd instantly bounce back in a close Game 7 finish to send them to the final playoff bracket. Eight teams remained, single elimination, and Furia were given the hardest matchup of any team. Welcome to the greatest Rocket League series in 973 days. There we go, boys. Demonstrably, the tournament favorites, Moist Esports, taking to the stage, going up against the Fury from South America. <laughs> iconic, dude. <laughs> it's just iconic at this point. I couldn't even remember that. That was nuts. Oh, What an angle, though. Honestly, after such a long overtime, I thought I thought Furia was already broken. You know, like Moist seemed to be unbeatable. I don't know, uh, but yeah, <laughs> you know what happened. Oh, so close. Looks like my plat lobbies. The ice man. Dude, what is that? How do you pull that off? Now, card up against the Tira. Infield, that's so good! 
Unreal save. <laughs> Just back and forth the whole five minutes, dude. What? Bro. It's time. Get up! Get loud as we put with Spain! We are going! The champions failed! Whoever scores first might be enough, but this has been a long time coming. Boys versus Furia, Game 7, and a chance for Kaya! We're going! That's still in a dangerous spot! No back and forth! What a shot. What a save. How he could see it. Boys have kept themselves alive. Oh, it's coming, guys. <laughs> Dude, I got I got goosebumps. Holy. Unreal, dude. Unreal. That was by far the best moment at Worlds. Unless you're a Moist fan, probably. Banger video waiting. If you're still here, that was uh, that was really sick. Holy, that was good. I like it. Picasso.